it's gonna be great. Like I said, I'm in a room. I'm in a room, especially at, uh, at Taco with some with some highly talented guys. You know, both of them are veterans. Both of them have been here and done that. So I look forward to you know getting to be around those guys and learn how they operate. So I can you know like send my um like model my game after them. You know they've been here and done it. So I'm trying to learn from them. Learn from the best. So. What is the past week and a half been like since you got drafted? What have you been doing? I've been in the playbook. I'm not like just playbook. Honestly. How did you get the playbook that you did Oh, I passed. So as soon as the day I came, the the, the like, like I got drafted Thursday, Friday I came, I passed ready. Me and coach in the, in the film and um in the film and watching film already. What have been your first impressions of Frank Pollock? I can tell, I can tell what kind of coach he is. I'm gonna get the same coach every day and that's what I enjoy. It was like that with Coach Searles at Georgia and everybody miss so much of each other because you know they both got the same vibe and you know they have that great energy. You know, I know what kind of I know what kind of version of coach I'm gonna get every day. And that's what I need honestly. What are your early playbook takeaways from, from jumping into it and trying to learn as much as you can? It is a lot. It is a lot. <laughs> you just got to categorize it by, by which play it is, I guess, like, you know, run, pass. But other than that, like, once you get a grasp of that, and, you know, I, I, I can get in with the center, Matt Lee. We, we can get to talking about some stuff, and, you know, it'll be great. I know that, you know, a lot of people have asked you how nice is it to come into a situation where you might not necessarily be forced to start right away. But are you still approaching it like you are going to try and fight for a starting oh, yes. spot. You have to. I mean, like I said, um, like I said, I mean, may let the chips fall where they may whenever the season comes around, but I'm going to do everything in my power, you know. But like I said, I'm just looking forward to right now, just learning from Orlando and Trent, man. I got the, some two of the best tackles in the league I'm learning from, so I'm just, lying. I'm just trying to take it day by day and learn from those guys. You know? I met Orlando, but I haven't met Trent yet. I'm looking forward to it, though. Looking forward to it. Really, he's even bigger than you. Yes, I know. I'm like, shoot, you can, like, you're a big individual if you're bigger than me. <laughs> How many people have you met that are bigger than you? Can't be many. Shaq was bigger than me. You met Shaq? Mm -hmm. In all seriousness, do you have to have like a custom bed? Oh no, cool. I, I can I can fit in a king. That's fine. Do your feet like hang off? Almost, almost. So I don't. Think, is there a, like a bed that goes like past king? Well, I'm sure Shaq had like a California king. Yeah, I ain't I ain't got the kind of money Shaq got. So so I don't know if I can afford that. I ain't got the kind of money Shaq got. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What about Wendy? <laughs> I get. <laughs> Wendy, you know, like he's yes. seven feet. He's seven foot five, something like that. He definitely has a custom bed. Yeah. Or well, I don't know what my guy Wendy does. Oh man, I just pray for him. That's that's all I can do because I'm six eight and I struggle with beds. And if you say if you like almost a good foot taller than me, oh man, I don't do. I don't even know what to say. I, like just lay on the floor, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> How much fun is it, Marius, to see ever all the other? fellow draftees in here and finally getting on the field with them. It's been it's been fun today. Um like I said I put a I gotta put a name with a face today, but uh, like I said we've been in communications, um, we've been in the group chat talking to each other since um you know the um, the draft and like I said it's been pretty good. I look forward to after I get up taking a shower, I go up there and watch film with all the old line guys. We can get to know each other even more. So is there a, a takeaway or two from the coaching staff today and I uh, you know trying to get used to what the NFL is gonna be like? Like I said, my main goal right now is to just stretch, do your, like do some yoga, stay loose as possible, and like I said, learn how to become a pro as fast as possible. Take care of your body, honestly, because you know as long as you take care of your body, it'll take care of you in the, in the long run. So. You met Joe for the first time yesterday. I know it was like eight seconds. They posted it on social media, but that was a good eight seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's going through your mind when he's? I it looked like he was walking out. You were walking in. What's yes. going through your mind when you saw? Him? Yeah, so it was it was just wild because I was like, okay, um, I'm talking to one, one security people here. They, you know, I'm looking out the corner of my eye. I'm like, is that who I think it is? I'm like, okay, well, that's, that's Joe Burrow. He walking towards me, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna walk towards him. <laughs> you know, we got we got to talk for a little bit, but you know, that was cool. Awesome. You said how to be a pro uh, coming from where you came from. Is that a easier? transition do you think? I would definitely say Georgia definitely did a good job preparing me to be a pro faster. Honestly just because you're like man the culture there is like one of like one of one. It's probably maybe like the one team in the, in the country that does it like we do it but not as not as consistent as we do it but like I said they did a great job preparing me so I feel like I do have a foot ahead in that step but like I said NFL is another level above Georgia so we're going to have to take it up a notch for sure. Physically, how you feeling right now? Obviously, you had the hamstring at the combine, but oh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty. I'm feeling good, man. Got out there and got some work. Coach Powell today felt amazing. 